Welcome to Tech Brother with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to convert the blank spaces or blank values come in from source file into a null value. So in, in our case we have a source file that is the uh, comma delimited file and I have first name, last name and salary. So my first name is Amir, last name Shahzad and I make let's say $4,000. Uh, I took the salary as a whole number so uh, we are not using any decimal number in this uh, example and uh, in the next row if you see that the first name is blank there is no value provided and last name is John and there is no salary provided and then there are some I will say some garbage data or wrong data that doesn't have any uh, information in this case uh, this one does not have any information first name last name and salary and uh, there is one um, correct record at the end so let's read this uh, file in uh, SSIS package and see how these uh, blank or uh, no values are read so open your um, SSDT SQL Server Data Tools or if you are using SSIS 2005 or 2008 R2 uh, or uh, just uh, SSIS 2008 you will be opening the BIDS Business Intelligent Development Studio so once uh, you open the solution you will be here and uh, you have to create a new package so right click on here and uh, we will say new SSIS package so we have created a new SSIS package to read the data from a source we will have to use the data flow task okay bring the data flow task to the control flow pan and now once uh, you have it you have to open it and then inside the data flow task you will be using flat file source as we are reading the data from the flat file or text file okay so bring it here the very first thing we have to do we have to make a connection to the flat file so double click on this one and then we have to make flat file connection manager we that's what we need to create we will click new and then we browse to the file in my case my file is on the desktop and the name of the file is source file and this .txt file so I open it okay uh, here are some settings you can change according to your file your file can be pipe delimited or uh, you have uh, you know some other characters in your file uh, you might have a first uh, row as a column header or you don't so depending on your file you can uh, make changes and in my case uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave this one as it is as my file is uh, a comma delimiter and uh, I have the names of the columns in the first row so let's go to the columns I have first name I have last name and salary and I have these values read as a blank so I can see that and now let's go to advanced and we are going to change the data type of these columns so first name is a uh, string that's what it read automatically and it set the width of that data type 50 so that's fine with me and uh, I'm gonna go to the last name that's also fine with me salary it also read as, as, a, uh, as a string but uh, uh, I don't think so that's gonna be string so we should change this one to the integer so let's change our salary to integer okay sign integer okay now we need to change that one to the integer let's preview our values still we can see that the values are read as a blank in case of salary as well as the first name and last name so but <clears throat> the actual excuse me we want to run our SSIS package and see what exactly will be read and how it will be converted so press OK now our connection is created and it one of the property here we have to point down and say retain null values from the source as null values in the data flow so what it is telling us if you want to read any unknown or not provided value then click this checkbox here so they will be converted to the null I'm gonna leave this one as it is for now and see what, what exactly the values are converted first and then we will come back and check this box and um, you know we will see the outcome how they will be converted so let's go to columns we check the mapping if you wanna remove some column here you can always do it but I wanna keep all of them as it is okay so the next step is we want to visualize the data that is read by the flat file source how we would do that so SSIS provide us data viewer that can be implemented between source and the transformation or be between different transformations I don't have any transformation to use it here so what I'm gonna do I'm going to use multicast as a test so 
multicast is not doing anything here it's just uh, working as a dummy transformation but the purpose of multicast is it read data from one source and then it you can produce multiple outputs you know and map to your uh, outputs how many you know you want in you can load the data to multiple uh, flat files or flat file and sql table or excel file and all that you can have multiple outputs so but in our case right now we are just uh, putting this transformation here so we can implement the data viewer double click on that one and then open the data viewer and then here enable that you can add these columns uh, you can see the data for all of these columns or you can exclude them depending upon your requirement click OK so now you see that the data viewer is implemented let's run the package and see what exactly was read in the flat file source and how it is converted in the downstream started so what we see here we see the first name and last name as com are coming as a blank you know and where there was no value provided for salary that didn't came as a blank as it was integer so it was converted to the zero that's actually wrong information what we want to do we want to convert these blanks in salary or even any other column first name or last name to the null values so let's close this one and stop your debugging and go back and uh, try to set that property so if I will right click here on the properties I would like to see that retain null but what is the I can't really see that so I don't find that property here so one option I can't really go back and set, see the properties of uh, flat file connection and find retain null the second option I will double click and try to reconfigure it okay so I don't see that there hmm so in, in that case when I have a lot of columns and uh, you know I want to set this property retain null and uh, it came in my mind later like this was what I, I was supposed to do uh, it it can get complicated you know you might want to create the new connection and uh, you have to set the data types or all the columns so but that's not the way to go so how we can do it so we have to click on the flat file source go to show advanced editor and then we have to go to the component properties and here we see that retain nulls as a false so we have to set this value as a true right click here uh, click here and then set to true or you can double click here it will change it so once it's set to true you hit ok now let's run our package and see what value we are getting uh -huh. so what we see we see that wherever the values were blank they are converted to the null values for the first name they are converted to null and for the last name they are converted to null and when uh, the first time we read these values as for salary they were converted to zero but now they are converted properly to null because zero is the value and we don't know the salary is not defined so and uh, there are cases uh, you know uh, where, where that number can make a difference so that's uh, one way to convert your blank or when the values are not provided in uh, um, your flat file to the null and uh, there are multiple ways uh, we will be uh, having more videos um, by using different transformations how we can convert the blank or uh, you know when no values are coming from the source and especially flat file source uh, and how to convert them to the null uh, thanks for watching this video if you would like to read more about uh, different uh, blogs on SSIS and SQL Server you can always visit us on uh, sqlage.blogspot.com and thank you. Have a good day.